Hey everyone, I'm Cam. And I'm Sam. And welcome to our van tour. show you guys the inside and then Cameron is going to take you through all of the tech stuff that I have no interest in knowing and all of the outside stuff which I also have no interest in knowing so come on in this is the bedroom portion of our caravan we have a north no east to west <laughs> east to west bed and that was just purely because we're young, we can climb over one another. We didn't want to lose the space of the north to south bed. And it just works for us. Up here, we have all of our clothes. These are huge, deep cupboards. Fun fact about Great Aussie, they actually just changed their shape. They've modernized the shape of their caravan to allow tons more storage in these upper cupboards. And it actually it's wild how much more storage there is up here. It's all of our clothes, like we've got everything up there. And even in that back corner that we don't get too often, we hold all of our paperwork and whatnot. This is all Cameron's clothes over here. Under here we have a little pigeon hole. It's got 240 volt and 12 volt, so we can charge our phones, laptops, everything while we're off grid or on grid. Then we have this hanging cupboard. We only have one, which is another perk to the east-west bed because the hanging space is a little useless in my opinion. But we do have our big coats hanging up there now just because we don't know what to do with that space. Even behind that space, this is what I was talking about with the great Aussie changing their shape. We have a yoga mat and all of our yoga workout bands. Like that's how much space this these front cupboards have. We have our huge coats and a yoga mat and workout gear and all of that. Over there we have our inverter. Cameron will go through that with you later because uh, I have no idea. Anyway. Down here we have just undies, which I'm not going to show you, and some more storage. It's just a tiny small cupboard. We keep like my slippers in there. And... This is our dining space and I absolutely love this thing. We did not have any indoor seating in our last caravan. Absolute game changer. We've got homeschool on here, breakfast bar, lunch bar, used daily and it's amazing. Side pocket, pretty standard in all caravans. I'm, I'm pretty sure they come in all caravans. We got it matched to the fabric that we chose for our seats, which is this beautiful beige gray fabric. We are we're not into leather and we're definitely not into black, as you can see. So this thing holds so much. It holds like whatever book I'm reading, laptops, iPads, whatever we need to shove in there, it can fit. Then we have all of these huge upper cupboards. And when I say they're huge, they're huge. They hold a bit of everything. Because we live in it full time, we've tried to keep everything in its proper location, if that makes sense. So like all the food is in the kitchen, all of the work stuff and electronics are in our like office area, you know, type office area. But up there we just have a bunch of like bug stuff, all the gross stuff that you want to keep away from your food. And then like I said, that's, see that's empty. <sighs> we are actually getting rid of the fans that are in there because we have upgraded to Sirocco fans, but that's empty. That's how much space we have. It's amazing. It's such an upgrade from our last space. Then we just have our work stuff, cameras, hard drives, the millions of cords that we have for everything that we need work-wise. Under the chair as well is actually so much storage. And another thing Cameron will run through with you is our brains are under there for the for the electrical system. But yeah, under the chair we have lots of storage as well for whatever we could possibly need. Welcome to our kitchen. Pretty standard kitchen. 
it's not that big but that's fine because we do 99% honestly 99% of our cooking on the Weber outside anyway but here's what we changed we got rid of the oven I didn't use an oven in the house on the best of times <laughs> and the Weber does exactly the same thing except better under here I store all of our like chopping boards so they're not on the bench but obviously they don't travel there but that's another story our very fancy little cooktop. We've got three gas burners and one induction burner, and I actually love that. It means when we're plugged into the grid, we're not burning our gas, but we can still like cook inside or boil water inside. That is perfect, and I probably would have opted for not getting this, but I don't think you can. I don't think that that's an option, but this is a grill. We've actually used it. We used it Easter for the hot cross buns, so... It has gotten use and it probably will get some more use along the way. Because we got rid of the oven, we managed to get this huge big pot drawer and this thing holds so much. I think if we didn't have this drawer, we would be lost in this kitchen. Like we just wouldn't have enough space. So that thing is amazing. Uh, there's a cupboard under there that has our water pump and then we just shove some like lighter stuff behind it. It all works. Moving on, this is our big beautiful sink we did try and get just the sink I am not a person that uses or likes this drip tray one of those rare humans that don't like it we couldn't opt for that just because um, they use specific sinks and that wasn't an option but I'm actually surprised at how often we've used this drip tray now and how handy it is to actually have. To get more bench space though, we have gotten this big round board and it fits over our sink so we can have full bench space or it sits over our drip tray and this is where we make coffee in the morning. It's amazing. It's perfect. Yeah. And up here is all of our stuff. That Cameron will go through with you later. This is all of our coffee cupboard. This is my favorite cupboard. Actually, this is one of two of my favorite cupboards in the kitchen. And then this is just all about cleaning and whatnot in there. Under this huge is our pantry. It holds all of our food. And it's amazing. It holds, we get, with our old caravan, we would only get about three to four days of groceries. And this one we... We haven't even pushed it as far as we could. We've gotten a whole week and a half, but we could very likely get two weeks. And that is so amazing because grocery shopping is the worst, literally the worst. Following on, we've got drawers. And my second favorite cupboard in the kitchen is our spice rack. This thing smells so amazing in here and holds tons of stuff. Absolutely tons of stuff. You'll notice I have a few little plant babies. I couldn't live in a space without a living plant. And yes, they're real. I absolutely love my plants. And it, Cameron will tell you, I had how many in our home? So many. I had a six foot fiddle leaf fig that I cried the day I had to give it away. Um, so I could not live in a space without plants or candles or trinkets or beautiful things. I haven't set this caravan up yet to be super homey. I still need to get like some cushions and some blankets and some picture frames. But we have just been enjoying being off grid or being able to be off grid for so long that we haven't been <laughs> near a city to actually get those things. It's been so nice, but I can't wait to like style her and make her really a home. She's still pretty bare, as you can see. And I will touch on here, you can see our color palette. It's this beautiful grainy, it's obviously laminate, but wood is very heavy. You can't get wood in caravans unless you put it in yourself. So this thing was the next best option and I absolutely love it and white and we've got this beautiful crisp warm backsplash as well I love the color palette in this caravan I think it's so beautiful it's so bright it's so airy I absolutely love it moving on this is our fridge 
uh, another thing that I absolutely love. It's so big. It's got so much. It's so messy at the moment. It's got so much space. So much freezer space. We actually, we have a 32 liter Dometic like car fridge, whatever the ones that lift up, and we lived on that with our old caravan. And now we haven't put it on once. It we even built in a space which you'll see when Cameron does the outside we built in a space for this fridge because we absolutely couldn't have survived without it and now it's just sitting there off not being used at all it's like a thousand dollar fridge and it's just not being used because we have so much space it's incredible I love this fridge it is a Dometic compressor fridge we didn't go with the three-way fridge because we didn't want to have to rely on gas to ring our fridge and my in-laws Cameron's parents have a three-way fridge and they have had difficulty after difficulty with it so it was a good lesson to learn from them but this has been brilliant it chilled within like five minutes honestly the freezer was like frozen within five minutes of us turning it on it's brilliant. I highly recommend Dometic too. We have a Dometic air conditioner up here. Most of our appliances, right, including our toilet, are Dometic. And I could not fault Dometic. They've been brilliant. Uh, so this is the bunks. we got three bunks. And this is the kids' room. They like to tell us that they have an ensuite. Say hi. Hi. Because we have a door. They have a door. So they technically have their own room. And they also have the bathroom in their little room. FYI, if you're traveling with kids, get a door that separates you and them. It makes a world of difference. Okay, so the bunk beds. Bunk bed number one, two, three. They all come with their own. The Rocco fan. We are from North Queensland, so we know the importance of airflow and being cool. So they all have their own fan. They all have their own pockets. They've got their little books in them. All of their little knickknacks. They couldn't be more chuffed with these. They have their own readings light, which has a USB plug in it which is 12 volt and they have 240 volt up there as well. So they can charge all their little knickknacks, their iPads, their whatever else they have. They don't have much, but they can charge it all and I don't have to worry about it or have their iPads lying all over my kitchen counter cluttering the place. We also, another thing that we changed in this caravan that came standard was the washer. So down here was meant to be a stand up whatever you call it three kilo washing machine but we needed the space for their clothes so we have three drawers down here and that holds all of their stuff and then up here in the hanging space Cameron actually DIY'd some shelves I didn't know that it was an option that we could we didn't know that it was an option that you get I recommend getting shelves and not hanging space because this is where all of their toys or they've got toys they've got their homework stuff all of their books we've even got their big coats up here so they've got more space for their clothes this thing holds so so much in it moving on to the bathroom so because we got rid of the washing machine in the kids' space, we have a wall-mounted one. I don't know what brand this is, but it's brilliant. It sits up here. I think I think a lot of new caravans have this one. It just saves on space, and it's so good. We have our toilet, which is, like I said, a ceramic, dometic something toilet. It's brilliant. We've used it a lot you know what toilets do back here sink and everything all of this space is holds all of our bathroom necessities hairbrushes toothpaste toothbrushes and then up here i love this cupboard because it gets everything out of the way this is all of our washing stuff so it's got all of our pegs it's got our money in little bluey 
for caravan washing machines or like laundromats or whatever uh, for all the bulkier stuff washing powder this thing is so good and then we have all of our towels hanging up as well and then this might be my favorite new addition to our living space that and the toilet we have our own shower it is brilliant great aussie have even upgraded their shower system so now it has like uh, it's got a plastic roof apparently they didn't have that before apparently it was all just chipboard so the moisture would get into the like wood this has a fully encased plastic shower whatever it is it's waterproof and it's perfect uh, there's tons of there's actually a lot of space in here I haven't found an issue with the shower yet I know a lot of people don't use their showers in their caravan because they're too small this thing is so good it does all of us on so we have the hot water system it's the 28 liter i think 28 liter hot water system when you're plugged in it's an electric hot water system when you're off grid it's a gas hot water system and it does all of us now we do quick like bird bath showers you know on wet off soap up then turn it on to rinse off but it does all of us all five of us within with with one tank of hot water and it gets so hot it's brilliant that's our caravan so that is the interior of our caravan i absolutely love it if you have any questions on like what colors we chose what flooring we chose anything like that uh leave a comment or message me on instagram whatever we can i can let you know all of those colors but i'm going to give you off to cameron and he is going to take you through the electrical stuff and the outdoor stuff because that is his area yeah cool let's do it Alrighty. so now for the part that we're all probably still hanging around for our specs for the van as sam said earlier we have a great aussie caravans tribal explorer now we chose the 19 foot 6 inch version of this which gave us our east to west bed now part of the reason we chose that is because all you really gain by going north south and getting that longer van until you hit about the 22 foot mark is a bed going the opposite way which might give you the extra hanging space on the other side which we said a little bit unnecessary i think we actually gained a little bit up above by not having that extra bit down here so yeah that's that's why we chose the 196 van also we didn't want something so big we we came from a 15 foot viscount and this honestly is huge this is like a mansion to us right now okay so our power we are actually running a projector system which is standard in the great aussie caravan line and we chose to go with Enerdrive BTEC 200 amp lithium batteries. We have got two of those under our bed along with a projector 2000 watt inverter. Enerdrive are just the bee's knees when it comes to off-grid power supply. We went with Enerdrive batteries because not only are they great quality, but they're a lot smaller than what the competitors are able to produce um, for quality. Now, other reason why we didn't go and change the rest of the system is because projector is a really formidable brand and they're really really user friendly so we didn't think it was worth the money to completely upgrade on this van the the entire off-grid system now over to my right here sam mentioned it earlier this is our inverter power and our 240 power so when we're plugged into grid it will come up with a mains power symbol here now if we're not plugged into 240 power this here is our inverter so we'll turn it on and off when we want to use our 240 volt in the van now you keep in mind if you have it on it's got to run that inverter so you really want to be quite strict with when you're using that inverter because one you don't want to burn out your inverter two you don't want to run down your batteries for no reason so this thing here is a, a really really handy piece of equipment to have in your van now as i was speaking about earlier this is our little projector screen which shows all of our power and our water uh, the temperature outside everything uh, this is how we run our pump by just turning on and off this button we have our pump on and off we have our three water tanks now we chose to upgrade they usually come 
with two water tanks and a grey water. We added the extra tank, so we have 280 litres of fresh water when we go off grid, which is amazing. Now, as you see up here, we have our 400 amp of power and our percentage. And it's actually a lot colder than 19 degrees outside. Also, in the Great Aussies are these really cool light switches, which are all detachable, so you can move them around. There's about three around the van. Uh, but this one here is our main power. We also have a little clicker, which is attached to our keys. Now the cool thing with these is these are also adjustable, so we can we can change what lights in the van are actually running off this by a little power switch just running in behind here. So on this we have our three main lights along with our outdoor lights and obviously that button sort of speaks for itself. Above that we also have our work lights. So we have a front and rear work light so if for some reason you're hooking up in the middle of the night or you're unhooking in the middle of the night you can turn on your light so you can see what you're doing uh, when you're unhitching but also if you need some more light for reversing you can also flick that on and give yourself a bit more light at the back. Alrighty so this here is our sort of main power station to the van. So as I was saying before with those lights, this right here, we can change um, the way that the circuit runs by clicking a number, it flashes up here and we can change all those with this little thing right here. Moving on to this one here, we have all of our 240 electrical stuff. So if we're on grid and we want the hot water system running, that's this switch here. This one's our stove and this one's our air conditioner. I don't know why these two were named, but this one's not, but that one there's your air conditioner. This is our hot water while we're off grid. Flick this button when you want to use it, otherwise you'll just keep the burner running the whole time and you'll have no gas before you know it. Over here is our stereo system. So this is actually an upgrade with the 2023 models. They've gone to a fusion system. They're really, really easy to use and the sound out of them is pretty cool. Now, some of the other things you might notice with our van is that we have all stainless steel appliances. Now, in the Explorer model of Great Aussie Caravans, which is the top of the line model, which is what we have, you actually get a black pack, which is part of the standard sort of price in your van. Now, we actually opted out of the black pack because it just didn't fit our color scheme and our vibe, honestly. Um, so we went back to a stainless steel pack which actually gave us some money back to then spend on some of our other upgrades like our water tank the extra solar panel we put on the roof um, so we actually have three on the roof uh, so we have 510 watt of solar on the roof usually they come with two 170 watt panels but we added a third up there we would have added more if we could have fit them but we actually kind of ran out of room with all the vents and hatches and and everything that sort of goes on these new vans so we we're kind of unlucky we would have we would have liked an extra one i reckon so we would have had close to that six seven hundred watt mark but it is what it is that's part of the price that we pay by going that shorter caravan i guess under me right now is what they call the brains of the projector system now i'm not going to show you under there it's it's like any other sort of system that you've probably seen if you've been googling them but the the good thing that i've found with the projector systems is they have a lot of lights to detect when things like your, your 240 volt power uh is is charging your battery system but also if you blow a fuse it has a little light that actually shows up on top of that fuse so you don't have to sit there and pull out all your blade fuses and everything like you might have done in the past where you can basically find where our fault is and go straight to the source and change it which is fantastic in my opinion all right just touching back on the fridge quickly so with our choice of fridge we actually did have the choice of two and there wasn't an extra price included by going to the compressor fridge which is the newer technology that's out there now, we went with the compressor fridge because we've also gone and upgraded our battery system. So think, think of it like you, you're only giving yourself your batteries or 240 power to run your fridge. Whereas with a three-way fridge, you also have your gas, which some people think is a positive. I personally think is a negative because as it is, we're running hot water and we're running our cooking appliances off gas when we're away from 
uh, um, grid. We didn't want to add that extra thing that was going to draw away from our gas, which I was also stunned to find out that it chooses gas before its battery power. Compressor fridge is what we went with. It's a personal choice. It's what we've chosen. It's it's the newer technology. Not to say that gas isn't, the, the three-way fridges aren't a viable option. It was just something that we were really happy that we didn't actually have to pay an extra cent on top of with our fridge. It was just a pure choice between two options. So that was also really, really good. We spoke about the aircon too. Uh, it's an Ibis 4 Dometic aircon. It's a reverse cycle air conditioner. So it also runs as a heater and an air conditioner. And believe it or not, if we wanted to, we could run this off grid using our inverter. We won't ever do that. It got to three degrees last night or this morning, I should say. So Sam was very close to turning it on. I just also want to add that a lot of our changes that we made were actually free of charge. It wasn't an extra thing that we had to add on. A lot of the things were, say, like the oven. There was money that we regained in that. The microwave, which we removed for a top cupboard, we gained that money back and we were able to use it in other ways. So realistically, the only things that we had to pay for were the extras that we wanted to add on top of what the van was so like i said that is the extra solar panel that's the extra water tank below us that's the kids their sirocco fans in their in their bunks which was just a must-have it, it was a no-brainer getting those so we definitely got those as well so that concludes my little bit of uh techie stuff on the inside We'll head outside now and we will take you through a walk around of the outside of the van. So welcome to the outside of our caravan. So we were uh, pretty lucky with when we ordered our van, we managed to pick up the 2023 model, which had all their upgrades automatically just added into our van. So we've got the new shape, we got the new decals, we got the higher checker plate, and we got the brand new rims that they've now added to the package, which are actually a King Off-Road rim, which are a really good rim. Okay, so also not going to go through the entire thing bit by bit because everyone has usually seen a caravan before. So we're just going to go through some of the things that we added and some of the, maybe the new things or the things that we like about this van. Thing number one that we like about our van is that we have the Cruise Master DO35 hitch. Along with the Cruise Master DO35 hitch, we also have the Cruise Master Freestyle XT suspension, which again, we had a choice between our two suspensions with Great Aussie, between Tough Ride and Cruise Master, and we just thought the Cruise Master was the more formidable of the companies to go with, and it sort of just ties everything in, same, same. Also, one of the standard things that comes on the Explorer models is their Stone Guard, which I think is a really, really good thing, especially when you're talking uh, off-roading, dirt tracks, uh, some of those more difficult places to get to. Especially for us, we have an SUV, so I don't want my back windscreen shattered when we're driving down a dirt road. So, really, really handy piece of kit. It also, just thinking about it now, it also helps protect their gas bottles, which, God forbid, one of those goes off. All right, moving on to the toolbox. So, on each side of our toolbox, we have uh, two jerry can holders inside this side of the toolbox as stated earlier in our video we put our fridge in our toolbox we had them wire in a anderson plug so that we could fit this in here we couldn't fit a baby cube because we don't have one we have a bigger size cube because we're a family of five so we thought it was best used for our secondary fridge takes it out of the back of the car puts it into a spot it's not very heavy so it doesn't add too much weight to the ball and it just fits in there and you wouldn't even know it's there all right so full through and through tunnel standard size 
everyone has one of these. It's got a light inside. Uh, as we mentioned, the new decals that come on the Great Aussies, it's a 2023 model upgrade. Uh, we got the brand new decals with this van, so it looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner and crisper. Uh, so we're very, very happy with it. Two steps in our van. On the Tribal Explorer, we actually got 31 inch mud terrain tires. These actually come standard on the Explorer models for the off-roading aspect, but a really, really good thing is they've changed the rims up. So now they have King Off-Road quality rims, which for me, I'm really stoked of that because they're a really formidable rim. This picnic table, I think we use it mostly for our air fryer, if we need to use our air fryer. That's about it. We have our TV and 12 volt plugs. Not that we have a TV, but we had it put onto the van anyway, in case for some reason we do end up selling this van in the future. For resale value, we kept these on the van. This is our toilet and our upgraded fusion speakers, which were also added with the 2023 model. So inside here is our outdoor shower. It has both cold and hot water and we have already used it more than we thought we ever would. So it's actually a really, really good addition that we weren't really sort of chasing on, on the build, but we're actually really, really glad that we have this. I keep saying really, really. So Tribal Explorer, AKA Triple Bunk Van. The Great Aussies actually come with the full length window for the bunks, which is really good. Some of your triple bunk vans or your family vans come with quite small windows which you don't get a lot of airflow so we're very happy that we got the full length bunk windows with our van so we have our three water tanks as we stated we got the third tank added so we have three water tank inlets this bad boy is our hot water system so both gas and electric it just does its own thing everything is powered from the inside this here is just another small storage unit we've used it for tools other side of your tunnel here and then on this side of our toolbox it's a little bit smaller so it's like a two-thirds to a third tool bin on this side we have our hoses and our electrical hookup and all of our running gear that we need for the outside of this van all right as i mentioned earlier so on top of the van we have 510 watt of solar so we added an extra solar panel to the two that come standard with the van we ran out of space. We would have ideally liked a fourth or a fifth if we could have managed it, but with our size of the van, the fact that we have three vent hatches, the antenna that we had to keep for future sale value, etc., etc., we kind of ran out of space. So we have 510 watt of solar on the roof and we haven't had an issue so far. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching our van tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely either send us a message or leave a comment below. Smash a like on that video. Hit subscribe if you wanna watch further in our travels. Hopefully we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. <laughs>